Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today what we're going to be covering is the mythical Pokemon and doing a tier list on them. So, today for the categories, at the top we have Goaded, followed by Amazing, followed by Good, followed by Meh, followed by Question Mark. And for the Question Mark ones, those are just kind of ones that I feel like shouldn't be mythical Pokemon. And so as clarification, uh, mythical Pokemon are different from Legendary, so mythical Pokemon cannot be caught in-game without any type of special event. Uh, for instance, uh... I received Deoxys from a uh, an event at NASA where I had to plug my Nintendo DS into um, this device at NASA and allowed me to get the Pokemon. So typically in game, you really can't catch these unless through sp special circumstances or you if you're on the computer, you can use like a, a cheat and use like mo wild Pokemon modifier and so on and so forth. And they're different from legendaries. And I'll do a separate video on the legendaries. But starting off today, we're going to be doing the uh, the mythical Pokemon. And these ones all have movies. And I know a lot of them hold a lot of sentimental attachment to us. So, starting off, we have Mew. Uh, for many, this was the first mythical Pokemon you ever encountered. Uh, for me, I was at a very young age. Uh, I still have my original uh, Pokemon 2000 movie that has a that has a Mew card on it, and uh, it holds a special place in my heart. And it is a amazing Pokemon. Um, what's unique about Mew? along from its really cute uh, pink color, is uh, Mew can learn any TM or HM in-game, which is really cool. So it can learn anything from Surf to Cut to Rock Smash to Fly. So it can learn every move because all Pokemon are supposed to be related to Mew. So I think it's very cool. Next, we have Celebi, the time-traveling Pokemon. I absolutely love Celebi. I, I think it's cute. It's grass and psychic type is, is really unique. And in, in the movies, it's really amazing, too, because it travels back and forth between time. Um, this is a goaded Pokemon for me. I, I, I love how it looks, and uh, it's one of my all-time favorites due to nostalgia. Uh, next, we have Jirachi, another one of my favorites. Uh, in this movie, uh, Jirachi the Wishmaker. Um, Jirachi only appears once every millennia, so every 1,000 years, and it allows you to make a wish. And that movie is really cool, because that's when you first get to see Groudon, and you see Flygon, and Salamence, and, uh, really amazing movie, and uh, I think it's super cute. It is a psychic and steel typing, which is also pretty unique. Uh, I have an affinity towards these smaller, cute fairy-type Pokemon, so that's another goaded Pokemon for me. That and Celebi are absolutely phenomenal. Next, we have Deoxys, and as I previously mentioned, I caught, uh, or I didn't catch Deoxys, I received Deoxys from an, from a, uh, real world trade at uh nasa when i was believe in fourth grade fifth grade i had to go down to nasa and plug my ds in and uh it gave me deoxys uh in this in this tier list it doesn't have all the forms of deoxys but uh it's attack form is probably my favorite um i still have it on my original emerald cartridge uh that i have to show sometime and uh, deoxys is a great pokemon that's another form of amazing pokemon i like that it's based on dna and so it has little strands on it which is which is really cool another psychic type um next we have Fionn. Uh, I never really got into Fionn. Uh, I, I think the Pokemon looks uh, decent, but it's not very strong to use in game, nor do I have, it doesn't feel like a lot of appeal towards me. Uh, I think there's a lot cooler of ones. Uh, I think Fionn is, it's good. It's it's good, but it's nothing, it's nothing, it's nothing more than that. It, it's kind of on the same page as me as Manaphy. I don't think Manaphy is very good either. And they're essentially uh, identical Pokemon. So uh, as you could expect, uh, it is another good Pokemon. Next, we have Darkrai. Now, this one is absolutely cool. It is the embodiment of darkness for a Pokemon, which is really cool to see for mythical Pokemon, because usually mythical Pokemon are very uh, kind of cutesy and uh, innocuous, and uh, Darkrai comes across as very malevolent. And uh, yeah, I think Darkrai is an amazing Pokemon. Uh, I On my uh, playthrough of Sinnoh, I have used the Wild Pokemon modifier to get Darkrai, and uh, I've used it uh, several times, and it's super strong, super fun to use. Next, we have Shaman. Uh, Shaman, this is its land form, but it's including its sky form and land form uh, for this tier list. Uh, Shaman looks uh, decent, but it doesn't look like something that is deserving of being a mythical pokemon um it's it doesn't it, it's not extremely strong nor does it have a look that you would look at it and be like wow this is a pokemon that there is literally only one of this looks like a pokemon you can find on like route six you know uh it gets a meh for me next we have the godfather of all pokemon uh arceus um I believe that's the pronunciation. But for Arceus, uh, I think it looks great. It looks majestic. It looks like how you would imagine a, uh, a god-like Pokemon to be with its, uh, with its white color scheme. That's, that's kind of, uh, kind of heaven-like. And, uh, it's yellow as, uh, kind of, kind of royalty to an extent. Uh, that's another amazing Pokemon. Next, we have Victini. Uh, Victini's really cool. It's fire and psychic. And so I notice a lot of legendaries have a psychic theme. Um, 
Victinia I actually recently used in a playthrough of Black and White, and uh, I used a wild Pokemon Mana Fryer to uh, get it in. And uh, it was really fun to use and really strong. I feel like there weren't a lot of good uh, fire types in uh, in Generation 5. And uh, yeah, I think it's a... Uh, I think it's an amazing Pokemon. Next we have Keldeo. Keldeo is a uh, little baby pony uh, mythical Pokemon. Uh, see, for for Pokemon that aim to be cute, I like it more with them looking kind of like uh, kind of like fairies to an extent, like Celebi or Jiraji or Mew or Victinia and so on and so forth. I don't think Keldeo looks all that good. Uh, I guess its typing is decent and, I, and the movie was fine, but it doesn't really it doesn't really stand out to me. It gets a, it gets a meh for me, kind of in the same category as Shaman. Um, next we have. Uh, Meliota, uh, I'm not sure if that's the correct pronunciation, I haven't heard it said in so long, just simply because it's pretty irrelevant, I don't hear anybody talk about this Pokemon actually, um, its design isn't all that great, and uh, it doesn't really appeal to me as something mythical that I would, that I would only see once every thousand years, for instance, that I would only see one of, it gets a uh, question mark for me, I don't know what they were aiming to do with that one. Next, we have Genesect. I also used Genesect in a playthrough of Gen 5, uh, modded in as well. It's a pretty, uh, pretty fun run. And uh, Genesect looks really cool. Um, it, it's a really, it's really fierce Pokemon, kind of different than the normal, uh, the cute look that uh, Mythicals go for. But I, I like it. I think it looks great. It looks, uh, looks powerful. It looks uh, threatening. It looks like something you would want to have on your team to help carry you through your playthrough. It's an amazing Pokemon to me. Still not on the goaded list. Uh, the goaded right now just has has R2. I wonder if that will uh, change. Um, Next, we have Deancey. Uh, Deancey is another one where uh, I kind of question the intent of uh, Nintendo trying to make this. Uh, I don't think anybody looks at uh, Deancey and says, wow, this is a Pokemon that I really freaking want and uh, a Pokemon that I need, that I want to have as my companion. It's a question mark for me. And uh, believe it or not, uh, Hoopa's kind of in that same category. I don't know. The movie was very eh. I don't really like what they did with the design of it. Um, it's a Hoopa Pokemon. Uh, that doesn't really appeal to me, okay? Uh, that is a question mark as well. Uh, see, a lot of these mythicals are very hit or miss for me. And the ones that have these very kind of alien, robot -y looking designs don't really... They don't really do it for me. Next, we have Volcanion. Volcanion is really cool. Uh, much better than the uh, three previous uh, mythicals that I mentioned. Um, Volcanion has a really cool design. It's on four legs, which is nice. And it has a giant circle on its back. Uh, looks, 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 looks cool. I actually never saw the movie for this one, but, uh, I've seen it used in playthroughs and, uh, videos before, and I think it's a solid looking Pokemon. Um, it's definitely not meh. It's a unique looking Pokemon, but that doesn't mean it's bad. It's not, it's not a cute Pokemon either. It looks, looks fierce. It looks, looks really cool. And I see a Magirna. Um, of the more alien robot looking Pokemons, this is one of the ones I think looks a lot better. Uh, I think it's above Shaman and uh, Keldeo, and it's definitely b b above the uh, question mark category. I think it's good. I think its design is really nice. It's a strong Pokemon, and I think it's it'll be one I would use in a playthrough. I've never used it in a playthrough, but I definitely would. <laughs> Next, we have Marshadow, and Marshadow is really cool because it is a shadow boxing Pokemon, which is a really cool uh, design. So it's uh, ghost fighting, and uh, it, it bases its principle, kind, it bases its design kind of off being a shadow boxer, like shadow boxing in real life. And that's a really, really unique design. I think it looks very cute as well. I've been able to mod it into any playthrough, but I've, I've seen the design so many times. We saw the movie, it was great. Marshadow is a really cool Pokemon, and I wish it wasn't mythical. I wish it was legendary instead, um, and that we could obtain it in game, because I would love to use it. It looks really cool, and a ghost is one of my favorite typings. So it's really cool to see a mythical ghost. Uh, that is a goaded Pokemon for me. Absolutely. Next, we have Zero Aura, and uh, similarly to uh, Volcanion, I think its design is unique. Uh, I, I, I think that they kind of strayed away from their typical design, which is something that is definitely good. I think if they were to stick with uh, stick with their uh, either robot-looking mythicals or alien-looking mythicals, I don't think it would fit in as well. I think it looks really good. Uh, it looks solid. Looks like looks like a Pokemon that you would want on your team. I don't know if it looks mythical per se, because I think mythical has more like divine-ish Pokemon that you would only see once in a lifetime. I feel like you might see this uh, as a legendary, but it is in fact a mythical, and uh, it, I'm going to rank it good. Lastly, we have Melton. I don't know what the hell they were doing with this Pokemon and why they decided this was worthy of being a mythical. I think that if they don't have a good idea for a mythical, they should simply... Um, Put it as a legendary instead or just not have a mythical for that generation or decide decide something else i think the mythical list is getting maybe a little bit too big and i wish there was a less mythicals i think when you hold this pokemon melt into the category that you hold jirachi celebi marshadow mew etc um it does not stand up to it remotely and uh yeah for me that's a good, uh, like it's an absolute question mark 
So looking at it today, we finished the goaded list with uh, three goaded, uh, a decent amount of amazing, a decent amount of good, uh, very few in meh, and a uh, too many too many mythicals in the question mark bin I would like from uh, Nintendo. But nonetheless, uh, yeah, this is the correct mythical Pokemon tier list. Um, guys, I really appreciate you watching. I have a lot of fun making these videos. Uh, one of the videos coming out next week will be the legendary Pokemon tier list, which will be much longer because there are simply so many legendaries. Uh, heavens, there might be too many. Um, additionally, I will be having a uh, reaction video to Logan Paul unboxing something as, some of his Pokemon cards because I have uh, Pokemon cards of uh, decent value and uh, I feel pretty knowledgeable about him. So it's cool to see a big influencer such as him uh, kind of discuss uh, and discuss Pokemon and get into the Pokemon scene. I know he has a uh, Pokemon tattoo actually, which is surprising to many, I'm sure. So guys, uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please uh, drop a like and subscribe. And uh, I've been thinking about making more anime videos. Uh, I need I need to get back on that just with work and everything. I haven't had as much time to do it, but I will absolutely get back on that. And I have a lot of videos in the works. So guys, uh, as always, I really appreciate you watching. And uh, y'all stay good.